please, Maya, do me the favor. Especially because our last speaker is another one of those people that I appreciate so much. He's a former coworker of mine. Um, I just scro scrolled through our last um, Slack chats, and uh, there were messages like, he asked, I asked him about, I had a problem with his uh, SEO uh, package, and uh, he asked me, have you tried clicking your mouse harder? And three <laughs> messages later, I must have solved my problem because I wrote, dang it, it was the cash again. <laughs> and um, we have in common that we both love and play Animal Crossing. That we, we also found that out recently. When, when does he have time for that? That's a good question because he's also um, the father of a freshly hatched boy um, who's also had his little appearance on um, Twitter. I think his name is... Dang it, I forgot. Is it... Neos? Is it Neos? No, I'm pretty sure it's not Neos. It, it was so Neo similar to Neos. Nemo? It's the only thing um, that stuck. He was anyways watching the stream. I'm pretty sure in one of the chats, someone's going to be very angry that I forgot the name. Oh, but they'll be angry in 40 seconds, right? Yeah, um, so you can finish, finish introducing the talk. <laughs> anyways, um, he is going to tell us about... The new media module, one more thing, the last thing of the day, the last thing of our um, NEOS conference online. Ze uh, Bobo, Sebastian Hetzler, is coming to us with his talk, and I'm very excited. Welcome to my talk, One More Thing. Um, it's about the new media module. My name is Bastian Hetzle. I'm a consultant for developing rich NEOS applications, and I'm a NEOS core team member since 2013 and contributing even longer. I love Castle Cambodia. I have a cute boy since some months and love to bake bread. So what will I talk about today? So, um, it's about the new media module. So first, it took some time. We have the current media module basically since a long time now. So we will provide now a new API, uh, a new backend module, a new UI integration. And then I will talk about what uh, is the road ahead, where we go now, and a quick summary at the end. So it took some time, as I said. We have the old media modules basically since the first NEOS release. Since then, not so much has changed. Uh, most parts are the same as at the time. Small improvements have been done here and there, bugs fixed and so on. But basically, there was not, there was not so much, uh, going on in this old module. Um, it's, uh, only minor improvements, as I said. It's really hard to extend. Um, I know several projects where they want to have something different and it takes a lot of overriding, uh, fluid templates, stuff like that. And uh, every time you update NEOS, it breaks. So it's, it's not so great, but the main concept from the time was not bad at all. Uh, if it would have been bad, we wouldn't have kept it now for seven years. So, uh, at core, it was good. It was just not extensible, so very similar also with the old NEOS content module where we had the Ember um, UI and uh, not a lot of work. people were able to extend it, improve it, and since we have the React UI, it's much better there. So, over the time, of course, improvements were discussed. Um, we wanted to have uh, better extendability. Uh, it should be more uh, scalable because maybe you know the bug when you have like 27 tags, the layout shifts, and um, when you have hundreds of uh, assets, it's really hard to manage them. Uh, lots of clicking here and there. Um, there's no really good way to handle additional metadata like IPTC or EXIF. And we always wanted to have it a bit more like the content module, so a bit more similar concepts there. And most importantly, also a bit related to scalability, allow batch actions. So if you want to tag 15 images, that should be easy and not take like 30 clicks. Um, so the new approach. Um, we finally decided last year in Vienna at the Neo Sprint that we will now kickstart the project. I uh, said I would lead the project. Um, 
and kickstarted and we wanted to have improved uh, user ex uh, experience um, it's just nicer to use faster and so on than extensibilities so it's easy to uh, modify something in your own project without having it breaking in the next NEOS update we want to have much better performance and future proof for the next years so first to make it possible we definitely want to have the new API so what do we use of course GraphQL so um, we the new system starts with the new API. It's immediately public, so as soon as we uh, release it, you can start playing around with it, and when we have the stable release, it will be a public, a stable public API that you can use for your own project. So you can make a headless application that uses the media or create your own backend module to handle things differently or implement some Neos frontend plugin for a gallery that would retrieve data via GraphQL. And so the new backend module is basically the first um, system that uses it. So we eat our own duck food there. Um, that's always a, a good way to approach that. And RefQ is now quite common for web applications. So we hope that a lot of people um, are able to quickly get into it. We use the T3N GraphQL implementation for that from um, SSF T3N. Uh, it's really cool. It um, it looks like the, the thing we want to have for the future. Uh, it's extendable. Um, you can, as I said, build your own apps with it. It respects policies. So if you have some privileges that say certain users cannot do something, the API will immediately reflect that also. And um, that's really nice. So based on that with the GraphQL, we can very easily now build a new backend module. With easy, I mean, of course it takes time, but it's so much more approachable. We don't have uh, to, because the way that this GraphQL integration is done, a lot of stuff is done uh, based on naming and conventions. So uh, adding or um, accessing assets and their properties is now quite easy. Uh, there's not really much code needed to build that API. Uh, a lot more is done on the client side in JavaScript. So here you can now see the new backend module. Um, it looks quite similar to the old one. You have in the center the old thumbnail uh, view and on the left you have the asset sources that are still there. The collections and tags are now grouped into a tree because there is some uh, connection between them so we wanted to reflect that also to in the future allow the uh, more hierarchy there and on the right you now get the inspector similar to the content module that you already know when editing content because uh, the system worked really well at the top again the search bar the filters and the layout switch um, of course this is not a first release not everything is uh, yet in there um, but it's the basic pr prototype where you can see, yeah, the system works, it works well. Um, and uh, it's really much faster to use, much more responsive, and um, you get much more immediate feedback. And uh, yeah. So, as you see, we have this main module. Um, one big difference to the old one is, for example, also that we now have at the bottom the pagination. It's sticky, so when you scroll down through all the images, um, it will stay there. On the left is now the number of assets, so you can always navigate. You don't always have to scroll down. I also got feedback for that from uh, customers and agencies that they were not happy with the pagination. Um, we also have more feature requests to improve that pagination even further. Um, but this is already much better to use this way. Um, you can also see if uh, uh, external asset has been imported. Uh, in the old module, it is you cannot really see if uh, asset has been imported once or not. Um, we s want to at some point also show them all the imported ones together with the normal NEOS um, assets, but so that you know, okay, what is locally available and what not. So we also allow now to import um, assets 
without immediately using them. So you can browse through the as uh, few where your external source, uh, import all the ones that you like, and then later just choose from that group uh, when you build your site. Um, on the right side, you have, as I said, the inspector. You can set tags, collections. Uh, you can see some metadata there. You can uh, edit the important fields. And the list mode is also quite similar to the to the old version. Um, not so much has, has been changed there. Then there's a new upload dialog. Um, it's still very basic. It's like it's just two days old. Um, you can drag and drop um, assets on there so they will get uploaded and you get feedback if it was successful or not. Uh, this has also been further improved because in the old uh, module when you upload something that's already been uploaded before you don't get any feedback, just nothing happens really. And now it would, the system would also tell you how this uh, asset already exists. Sorry, you know that. This mod dialog will of course be extended so for example you can, it's more you, you can, for example, immediately say, okay, well, I want to change the title or uh, the description while it's uploading or um, give all the assets that you upload uh, a tag, stuff like that. Um, this has to be still added. The dialog now shows the editor um, the maximum file size uh, reported from Neos, from PHP. So the editor also doesn't have to guess, okay, why did my upload fail? Um, we have that limit that we write there and we give the feedback. So this also helps there because I got so many support requests. Why can I not upload my big file? Um, that's basically the first question. How big was your file that you tried to upload? So, uh, this should get nicer. Um, the technical aspects, of course, the fancy things. It has been written in TypeScript completely with React. Um, for GraphQL, we use Apollo. Then, uh, for some state management, uh, is now moved. Uh, on that one hand, is is used the the GraphQL itself, local state, and recoil for shared state. Then we are using reusing the Neos UI REC components uh, that are with every release release exported as a node module, a node package. And uh, so this is the first official Neos core packages that reuse the Neos UI components. This way, uh, we reuse them, also improve them at the same time. Um, the module will get tested with Testcafe and built with a lot of love in the last months, of course, since the last Neos sprint. Um, what has changed? Great performance. Uh, the backend is module is so much faster than the old one. Uh, most actions are quite fast. They will get faster in the future. Currently, we have a bit of a between the GraphQL and the uh, API and the old PHP API. A bit more methods than we want to have at the end. So, because we want to have a simplified API and the internal API is a bit complex, so this layer will over the time when we simplify the internal API too and also get faster there. Also, we want to have at some point the uh, possibility just to use Elasticsearch, stuff like that, and then speed it up further, but it's already great. We use optimistic UI, so for a lot of actions where we know they will probably work, so editing, title, meta description, stuff like that, we know that this should work, so we just assume it will work, and then the UI will immediately reflect the change instead of waiting for the whole uh, request to finish. Improved use extensibility, uh, use experience. So um, a lot of smaller things have been improved and will be further improved also based on the feedback we saw in the GitHub issues for Neos and the Neos UI, stuff like that. Um, it will be much faster to add new features. We saw the same with the switch from Ember to React in the Neos UI. Here we expect the same and it's built with future extensibility in mind. So a lot of components that uh, have little dependencies and then adding a new one, replacing one should be as easy as possible. What has been implemented so far? Of course, a lot of basic features that you saw in the video, but also we now remember the UI state in the local storage of the browser instead of um, with this PHP state that was always a bit complicated. Then uh, improved feedback on upload the public API that you can basically immediately use for your own apps, the sticky pagination and the new inspector. 
New features that are being worked on are the batch actions, so tagging five things or removing five uh, assets at the same time. Then I improved media or MIME type support. Um, this was not really implemented fully in the old module. They are here now with the new API. We will more focus on that. Then um, the nested tags have only been partially implemented yet. Um, then we want to improve the management of imported assets, as I already said, the handling of EXIF and IPTC metadata. We already have news core packages to extract them, store them in the content repository, stuff like that. But here we also need to um, load them via the API and then show them. And then full responsiveness, so it also works well on smaller screens. Um, client features. Um, the improved asset usage calculation. The asset usage calculation is quite slow in EOS because it's complicated. There are a lot of places where an asset can be used and each have their own uh, calculation strategy. So this can take a lot of time, especially in a bigger system. Um, here we need a, a layer in between that would do all the calculations, but not only when we request them, but also already beforehand and cache them. This way we can use the asset usage to, for example, prevent uh, removing an asset before and not um, trying to remove it and then getting an error back. Or show assets that are not used, stuff like that. Um, we want to have that in the UI, but first we need to improve that calculation. The extensibility uh, has not been really implemented yet. And we are also discussing a new system for the collections and tags, because currently we have collections and tags. Tags can be connected to collections, but we also want to have something like folders. So we have the collections that are usually more connected to an individual site in a multi-site system, for example, and the tags are also connected to that. But we also want to have something like folders. Currently, the collections and tags are sometimes used as folders, but it, it's not really working well. So here we want to come up with a better system um, that makes this stuff easier. Um, a new module is nice, but we also want to have a new UI integration, of course. Um, here you can see it. So basically you have the old inspector editor on the right, but when you click it, the new secondary inspector for the selection will come up and you can select your asset there. So this is really nice because the new, the new, um, Media selection is now a plugin for the Neos UI. It uses the exact same code base as the backend module for 99%. There's only small code differences here and there. Um, so the same React module, same GraphQL, everything is the same. Uh, there's of course a little, um, some variables that say, okay, you are in the Neos UI or you are in the module, and then we can make some changes to the layout based on that. For example, the inspector here is hidden while selecting an image. We're also now shift, uh, moving aside the um, document tree because um, you don't really need that when selecting an image. But the new uh, selector is fully compatible with all the old um, editors and inspectors, so they will still work. We don't immediately have to replace them. Um, and that is really nice because also via the setting you can then just turn it off and on while testing the new module if you want to have the new selector or not. And this is really cool this way. Um, also, you get the preview here and all, almost everything fully works there. Um, this is really, was, is, was, is really nice to integrate now. And, and I'm really happy that the news, new news UI Mac also makes that so easy. Um, it's, as I said, the plugin for the news UI, use the same code base. It's compatible. It's, as I said, also faster, more flexible than the old one. Um, and can use more space now in the new UI. So the road ahead. Um, you can try now with Neos 5.2. Basically, you can now run Composer require Flowpack Media UI. The very first uh, pre-release should now be available. Um, it will hopefully become that's the plan, the default media module. Uh, if you create a new Neo 6.0 project, um, there will be a feature switch for that, of course. But um, until then, we want to have this basic uh, feature 
parity there. Um, we want to deprecate the old media module then until Neo 7.0 if everything works out to be able to remove a lot of old code that we, as I said, is seven years old. Um, and you should, can be, you should and can become part of the effort. Um, until now, I worked here in this uh, Flowpack Media UI project on GitHub. Uh, several people helped me. I will tell about that later. Um, here you can see what has been going on, what has been worked on, and you will also find there are issues that are uh, moved from uh, Neos um, GitHub project and the Neos UI because we decided we will not implement certain things anymore for the old module, but only for the new one because it's much easier there. Um, and here you can already go in there, check out the issues, test stuff, review stuff, help there, uh, add your own feature requests or ideas. Uh, feedback is really, is really welcome. And, uh, please help with the implementation and collaborate. You can, uh, I think now with React, it's for a lot of people, it's much easier to also contribute there. And if someone really wants to help, of course, I can uh, make, um, we can make, um, calls where I can show how you do certain things or you can ask questions, stuff like that. I'm really, uh, looking forward to get more input there. Not on, it was now good that I worked on this first, um, first initial version myself, because I know, know with also the discussions with the others where we want to go. And now we can have those um, little packages that can be implemented. Um, and of course, you can sponsor the development. Um, we want to do a crowdfunding for this project, because until now there has not been sponsorship yet, because it has been developed mostly in half secret. Only a few people were involved. Um, we want to have the, of course, today is now the first pre-release uh, version launched. And then for the first stable version near you know, six in December, um, we want to finish that up. So we want to cover that or a part of that time that was in there. It will never cover everything, but at least some. Uh, we want to have that and then improve the permissions so you have more fine-grained control for the privileges in the module, so saying certain editors can do something, certain others can do something else in the module. Uh, there has, this was already partly done in the old module, but uh, we want to improve on that. Then extensibility, um, this has to be implemented so you can create your own plugins for the system. And then new UI, UI primary editors, so the cropping, the selecting image size, the stuff like that to re-implement and make better. Um, the focus point editor is something uh, of a stretch goal that we would like. It's also been discussed a while. Um, that would be really nice. And we want to uh, re-implement also the variant type in editor. It was until now, uh, this uh, feature switch disabled by default. Um, then, as I said before, the improved asset calculations and the new folder system. So, with that, I want to say thank you, um, especially to uh, Bastian Weidelich, Christian, Daniel and Johannes for all their feedback also and discuss with their uh, comments and ideas and all the calls and help with GraphQL, stuff like that. Really thanks for that. And especially also my wife and kid. Uh, who allow me to uh, work on this uh, big project here in this room uh, in my spare time. So thanks for that. Um, you can contact me in various ways. Don't forget to involve. Really looking forward to hear your feedback and your thoughts and hope you enjoy the system and can uh, your NEOS projects will get even better than before with that. Thank you and bye. Woohoo! That was awesome. I'm <laughs> so looking forward to the, the new media module. I really hope that uh, Sebastian, you know, finds the time to implement those features he mentioned. Um, I've been, you know, an editor using Neos and I would love to have this improved media module available. Now, the next time my customer asks me, can I do X, Y, Z? I don't have to say no. I can say soon. And if you want to have it faster, as Sebobo just showed us, um, with the help of a little support, um, we can speed things up greatly in an, in an open source project. So if 
we were told correctly, so Bobo should be on a video call with us now. Hi. Hello. Uh, you're looking good today. <laughs> Sebastian, uh, there were a few questions in the chat but before we go there let me ask you a personal question um, because you provided one of those interesting details uh, in your uh, questionnaire uh, which we sent out to all the speakers and that was uh, you as well as Christian already said didn't want to become a web developer or a software developer at all you wanted to study dinosaurs and pyramids and what happened then? Yeah, I, when I, I think when I was around 12, uh, I got introduced to the website Self HTML, and that was the way down, downward spiral into the web development. I am definitely glad uh, that you wound up here. Um, I know the dinosaurs and pyramids would have uh, benefited from you just, you know, as much as we do now. But as I'm part of the Neos community, um, I thank you. Thank you for being here with us. How selfish of you. <laughs> Just well, think of all the dinosaurs. Yeah, selfish and honest. All those dinosaurs that now have to miss out on Zep. Do you think they might? No, anyway. Zep, we have questions for you. Okay. Um, what's the deal? What, how, how are we solving um, license tracking when we use stock photos? Is there a solution? Um, not exactly sure about the question. Um, we have this copyright field um, in, the, in the asset model. So uh, the information that is there is available in NEOS when you import an image or an asset uh, and can be used. And it will sometimes be updated, I think. I'm not exactly sure if like the remote source updates their license and uh, how quickly it will reflect in the in the system um but maybe the person who asked the question should ask, ask it again it's like then i uh with maybe a bit more details you, then i can maybe ask you directly yeah. okay yeah uh so Bobo, is there a project slack channel um where people can put questions feedback and everything yes there is and i forgot to put it in my slide and so Good but you can but that's it. why we have the call now you can just read it aloud and all it's called project new media ui there you have it so um if you want to ask further questions go, go into the slack channel and uh ask there um to clarify um i really like the idea of the sticky pag pagination and there came a question uh up uh what about asset sources that don't support pagination how, how do you deal with that Currently, the pagination is not done in the asset source itself. Um, uh, the, the asset sources are queried and they return a ton of assets and those are paginated. So it's currently not an issue, but it would make sense if we introduce a, a, an additional interface or something at some point. So the pagination happens in the asset source itself. So that means that the number that's also sometimes shown how many assets there are when you are inside an asset source is not correct because some asset sources also just come up with custom numbers. <laughs> um, are there any plans about um, drag and dropping images into content elements? So bypassing the, insp uh, the uh, property inspector? Was another question. I think that would be uh, a great use case for the uh, new uh, UI editors that I mentioned. Um, as I said, I, I didn't need to re-implement them right now, uh, but that would be a very valid and useful use case in combination maybe with uh, what Dimitri uh, built, I think, last year, where you have the uh, image editor in line in the content and mm -hmm. maybe this way find a way how to make it possible there. Cool. That that would be really cool. Um, you mentioned that you've. Oh no! Wait. Let let me put that differently. Um, you've talked about the new media module, uh, Sebobo, and you know when it will be available. Now. <laughs> now. <laughs> um, in which state is it? Is it an alpha release? Is it a beta release? Is it something that people should try out already? 
it's definitely a pre-alpha release. It's not um, it's not feature complete yet to completely replace the old one, but uh, so it's zero point one point zero. But you can install it, and it will run next to the old one, so it doesn't have any bad effect. And you can disable the parts of it if you don't want them, for example, when choosing images and so on. Um, so you can install it now um, and play with it and then give feedback and help and uh, make it better together. And that would be my call to the community. Uh, if you have customers who would love to see a new media module, uh, talk to them. Maybe as you, as the Bobo showed, um, they do have a few extra euros to spare and speed up the process of getting that implemented. And for yourself as a developer, um, you know, try it out, show it to your customer, um, report issues, get into the code, get in touch with Sebobo, uh, start fixing them, help push this new project forward. Um, this is what open source is all about. Uh, Sebobo has, you know, started something and now he's sharing it with all of us, um, with the whole world uh, to improve upon and, uh, yeah, make a much greater media experience in NEOS. Thank you very much for that, uh, Sebastian. And before we send him off, yep. I have to try to restore my honor. <laughs> Your child's name is Nemo, and I apologize yeah. <laughs> profusely for forgetting because that's a really cute name. <laughs> and it's based on Captain Nemo, not the fish. I figured, but the fish is <laughs> so also one day really he will cute. Have a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Zeb, so much for all the work you do, obviously, but also for stopping by, answering our questions and uh, showing your face. And of course, congratulations to a well-deserved uh, award for... Right, I forgot thank about... You. Congratulations! For your package, yeah, woo! <laughs> Shout out to you, thank you. Thanks.